It's official. Donald Trump naming Indiana Governor Mike Pence as his running mate on a Republican ticket. The establishment of Republicans like Paul Ryan, Senator Marco Rubio, they applauded the choice. Joining me now, Jillian Melcher, Carl Higby, Jack Ber uh, Berkman, and, and Kendall uh, Ural. Uh, let me start with you, Jack. Um, I, I know that you guys made a last ditch attempt, or there was a last ditch attempt. To, from the never Trump forces. That's been squashed uh, with respect to the Rules Committee. It looks like the table is set. But was the, was the selection of Mike Pence something of an olive branch? Because most people consider him uh, uh, palatable to the establishment types, some of which were never Trump. Oh, well, let me make some news here, Charles. First of all, the, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. The Never Trump movement remains very much alive, not squashed at all by the Rules Committee. We have a surprise waiting for Donald Trump <laughs> next week in Cleveland. But let me tell you this. I do think Pence was a good selection. Uh, if Trump is the nominee, I will support him. I certainly would never support Her Majesty HRC. Uh, Pence is a great choice. He brings in the Rust Belt. He pulls the party together. Now, of course, I wish any candidate wishes that Trump didn't have to unify the party and that he would have the luxury of reaching out to someone who could appeal to swing voters. Uh, Pence really isn't that, but under the circumstances, I think it's a good choice. You know, and that's the, that's the interesting thing here, because, uh, of course, the, the, the Democrats weren't going to like any of the choices, but they've come down pretty hard on, on Pence, uh, particularly in the LGBT stuff. Yep. Uh, they said he suppressed freedom of the press, he suppresses reproduction rights, he's against the environment. Uh, the whole litany, if you will, they, they came up pretty hard against him, Jillian. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he's actually a very poor choice. Um, really? And here's why. I mean, if you look at what happened with RIPRA, um, I, I don't think that's that controversial of an issue. I mean, I think well explained, you know, you get to choose who you do your business with based on moral choices. That was the idea behind boycotting North Carolina if you're a liberal over the transgender stuff. Pretty similar. Pence managed to turn that issue into something that had the nation polarized for an entire week, captivated with a debate about do Christians and do conservatives hate gays. He's a guy that did not handle controversy well the last time, and now he's going to be joining the most controversial campaign. I think it's a disaster. So Jillian Melcher and Ann Coulter on the same page right there. <laughs> Carl, <For once. laughs> yeah. Carl, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of Republicans are saying, this is, doesn't sound like Donald Trump. Here's a guy who's okay with trade, TPP. Here's a guy who you know, was okay with Obamacare. Here, here, here's a guy who really is, is, seems like he would be the antithesis of all the things that Donald Trump won on. Right. Well, I think this is a... I don't know what happened in those closed doors conversations, but I'm sure those things were addressed. And Trump, Trump's the type of guy who says, you're going to get in line or you're going to get out. And I'm sure Pence probably made the agreement, look, Pence wasn't my first choice. He's, I don't think he's a bad choice, but I think that this is a, this is a party unifier for sure, because he needed, you know, so he's known to be a little... But, it was so, but you admit it was sort of a politically correct choice. Uh, I think this For is the non-politically correct candidate. I think candidate. this is his first politically correct action. <laughs> hey, uh, let Charles, me, one, let me, one no, thing let me to remember... Kendall for a minute. Yep. Kendall, uh, you know, it's interesting. I'm going to read a tweet uh, to you. It was back in um, December 8th. It says, uh, the, calls for, the calls to ban Muslims from entering uh, the United States are offensive and unconstitutional. December 8th, 2015, uh, the, tweet, the tweeter was uh, Governor Pence. Go ahead, Kendall. <laughs> Well, I'm actually glad that Pence is going to be in the convention center because when the delegates exercise their constitutional and God-given right to conscience and then bind, we can actually place his name in the nomination for the presidential slot. He's one of the few conservatives that actually are going to be in the convention hall. So yeah, I like Pence. I think uh, it, uh, obviously his uh, religious liberty stance and his pro-life stance and the fact that he's a social conservative as well as been a very good conservative overall with the policies that he's implemented. But that doesn't matter because general election voters don't vote on the vice presidential pick. And I understand the nice attempt to try and make good with the conservatives of the base. It's not going to work this time because right. the label that he's slapped on them with the red meat to conservatives is I'm just going to put out a front man for the con man that's behind the label. So right. we, we just, we're not going to buy it. Let's leave it there.